So now let's take a walking tour of the Kimpton Vero Beach Hotel and Spa in Vero Beach, Florida. If you're not familiar with Vero Beach, it is on the eastern coast of Florida, considered in the central part, often referred to as the Treasure Coast. If you are flying here, you have to fly into Orlando or West Palm Beach. Um, from the Orlando airport, it's about an hour and a half. It's a little farther from West Palm Beach. We booked our stay through Hotels.com and it is considered one of their VIP properties. So we did get a free upgrade. They gave us a complimentary bottle of wine. So that was really exciting. We did rent a car. Um, so there is a $20 a day resort fee and that does include the overnight valet parking. Here is the lobby and you can see it's small. It's a boutique sized resort but with a lot of great amenities and amazing service. So from the valet staff to the check-in, everyone on staff was really, really attentive. Here's a little area where you can get snacks and drinks. You can buy them for extra. They did not have anything in the room. And here is the other side of the lobby which has another seating area if you wanted to come and sit in the lobby. And in the morning, they do have an area over here where you can get free coffee in the morning. And the coffee was really good. I was pleasantly surprised because you know how sometimes the coffee can be in hotels. And as you go up the stairs, uh, right at the top of the stairs, they have this nice boutique, which if you wanted to go shopping, if you forgot anything, uh, it was a really nice high-end boutique. Then over this side, they consider this part the little library, which I was kind of laughing at because that just meant they had these books on the shelves that you could borrow to read. <laughs> but still cute um, as you can see they're constantly cleaning and they have a little chess area too we saw a couple playing chess one night and they do have elevators of course to get to the rooms and different areas if you need the elevator They have a men's and a women's locker room, which have showers and areas that you can change, obviously a bathroom and some lockers as well. They had this great little fitness center, very clean, had all the equipment that you would need if you wanted to work out while you were on vacation. And you could access it 24 seven just by using your key card that you use to get into your room. Then right as you leave the fitness center, you go outside uh, for access to the pool and the beach area. Over to the right is the hot tub, and it's nice that it's over in a nice secluded area. 
especially if you're traveling as a couple because this is a family resort it is not adults only so you have a little area if you wanted to come over and just have um, some quiet time away from the children and the families And over here is the pool area. Be sure to watch the complete review that I did of this resort because one of the downsides of it is this small pool area. It's not that large and there's not a ton of seating around it, but it is clean, it's very nice. So if you're a couple traveling together, it might be something to consider since it's not adults only. There's a ton of towels as you can see here and you don't have to give your key card, which I love. It's one of the pet peeves that I have on vacation when you have to get your key card or there's a limited number of towels. Um, that's something that annoys me on vacation. So I love the fact that you didn't have to do that. And over here, even though it's closed because it's early morning when I shot this, is Heaton's, which is their bar and restaurant that's right overlooking the water. And be sure to watch the complete review. You'll see it open, um, but it was really nice. We had drinks there and we even had lunch there one day. And then here is more seating. So there is plenty of seating away from the pool, um, which again, which is nice for some couples if you didn't want to be around the families. Over on this side, you'll see we're going to walk towards the other restaurant, which is called Cobalt. Towards the end of the walking tour, I will go on the other side of the resort. We go through the spa and the inside of this restaurant, which is Cobalt. But you can see it has a, a lot of really nice seating areas. And it did advertise that they did have an express breakfast in the morning. I didn't take advantage of it and I did not see that. But I saw lots of people coming here for lunch and dinner. And someone said when it's kind of cool out, they light up the fire bowls and it's really gorgeous and again it overlooks this amazing beach view. Now it's time to go to the beach and I loved the fact that everything was so close. So your room was right there, the pool was right there, the restaurants and bars were right there and the beach was right there. So that was one thing I absolutely loved about this resort. And as you can see, the beach is really beautiful. Again, this is on the East Coast, so it is the Atlantic Ocean. And I was surprised how clear the water was, how beautiful it was. Um, during the day, they have attendants that will come set up your chairs for no extra cost. It's all included uh, in your stay. Um, they do have the water sports that you can get for extra as well. The other thing I love with just a short walk down that beach was uh, the town of Vero Beach. So you could walk on the beach and they have restaurants on the beach and just a lot of different fun things to do. And here's the view of the resort from the beach. So, so let's go back to the entrance over to the left where you will find the spa and also the Cobalt restaurant that I told you about. Here's a brief view of the spa. I didn't take advantage of any of the services that they had here, 
but I did see a lot of ladies coming in and out. I know they have massage and hair and everything and anything you would want in a spa, which is great while you're on vacation. And this is the Cobalt restaurant and it is a higher end restaurant so you know dinner prices are between 35 and 60 dollars a plate depending on what you get but it really gets amazing reviews we didn't get a chance to go there but it does get really good reviews and then they have that really amazing outdoor seating as well they also serve lunch One of my favorite things about this resort was that it truly was within walking distance to town. Sometimes when you research resorts or hotels and they advertise it as within walking distance, it's not really within walking distance or the walk is not that safe. This was truly within walking distance, even steps away from restaurants, bars, shopping, um, even right next door, as you can see we're approaching here, is um, Bobby's, which is one of the oldest restaurants in Vero Beach. We went in there for lunch, um, which wasn't the best lunch we ever had, but I heard for dinner it's better, and then they have that view right on the ocean. But across the street, you can see there's a ton of shopping, and as we keep walking, with it, I'm gonna actually just keep taking you to show you how close you are to town. tip for this resort as you are approaching stop at a drugstore maybe Walgreens CVS something along those lines or a grocery store and pick up some water some you know maybe mixers if you wanted to make drinks in the room and some snacks because sometimes we came back and we wanted a snack or we were hungry and we didn't have that uh, we did go to the bottle stop, which we are approaching now. Again, it's just within steps of the resort, which is a really nice liquor store. It's small, um, but they have wine and they had a lot of different liquors. Um, but you could, have, again, on your way in, stop someplace. And if we had known that, we would have probably stopped. But we didn't want to go back out of town just to get things when we could just go right here. The boiler. As you can see here was a really cute little bar uh, that was open late and it's right down that path. As you can see they do have a ton of different hotels in Bureau Beach. We're about to pass another one but my recommendation to you is to pay the extra money and stay at the nicer place. It's only a few hundred dollars more and you're going to be spending that money somewhere so pay for the better experience for the higher end experience it does make all the difference in the world Okay, and here we are, basically the center of Vero Beach, and this is where Mulligan's is and the Ocean Grill, and again, a ton of shops. You can keep walking down straight, which is where we went to the um, Grape and Grind, and they have the Cravings and Chelsea's Market, 
all the different restaurants that I reviewed in my full review. So make sure you check that out. But again, just the fact that it's walking distance to everything is such a huge plus. I hope you found the walking tour of the Kimpton Vero Beach Hotel and Spa useful. And more importantly, even this quick walking tour and glimpse of the little town of Vero Beach and to show you that it truly is within walking distance. And if you did, please like and subscribe and follow us on Three Days and Trace No Juice while we keep bringing you on fun, exciting, and affordable adventures that you can have in a really short amount of time. You know, we're trying to show you that you don't have to go have a whole week to have a really nice vacation. You can do it in two nights. You can do it in three nights. So keep following us so we can keep showing you different resorts that we're going to and which ones to choose.